Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on representation of signed numbers. Before going to the representation of signed numbers, first of all, what is signed numbers and what is unsigned numbers that we have discussed. Okay, suppose we are taking the number 41. Before that number, we have to put the positive sign. So, because of this positive sign, this number is called as positive number. Okay, 41 is a positive number. Okay, now consider this number. Before the number 41, we have to put the sign, negative sign. Okay, because of this sign, we can say that 41 is a negative number. Okay, here we have to put the sign symbol, either it is a positive symbol or it is a negative symbol before the number. That number is called as signed number. Okay, so here in the same way, here 9 is the digit. Before the digit, we have to put the sign symbol plus. Because of this symbol plus, this, we, this number is a positive number. Okay, here before the digit 9, we have to put the symbol, negative symbol that is minus. Because of this symbol, we can say that 9 is a, minus 9 is a negative number. Okay, so what is a signed number? So before the number, we have to put either positive symbol plus or negative symbol minus. Then we can say that that type of number is called as a signed number. Okay, before the number, we do not put any either positive symbol plus or negative symbol minus. That type of number is called as unsigned number. Unsigned number does not have any positive symbol plus or negative symbol minus. Only signed numbers have, have the symbol plus or minus before the number. Now we go for representation of signed numbers. There are uh, three ways of representing signed numbers. One is sign magnitude form. Second one is one's complement form. Third one is two's complement form. By using these three representations, we are uh, representing the signed numbers. Okay, first one is sign magnitude form. Sign magnitude form the, is the primary method of representation of signed numbers in terms of binary data. Okay, so among the three representation, the first representation is the sign magnitude representation. By using this representation, we have represent the signed numbers in terms of binary data. Okay, next one, suppose, suppose if the given number is a positive number, we have to put the digit 0 at the MSB position followed by the binary number. Suppose if the given number is a negative number, then we have to put the digit 1 at the MSB position followed by the binary number. So for example, here plus 9 is there. Okay, so here before the number, the sign symbol is plus. So because of this symbol, this number is a positive number. Okay, now because if the number is a positive number, we have to put the digit 0 at the MSB position. Here this is the MSB position and this is the LSB position. At the MSB position, we have to put the 0 as a sign bit. Okay, 
followed by the given by uh, followed by the normal binary number so 9 can be represented as 1001 as a binary number okay this is a 8 bit register so 0 to 7 last 7th bit is the msb bit at the msb bit we have to put the 0 bit 0 bit is called as a sign bit because of this sign bit 0 we have to say that the given number is a positive number the remaining uh, 7 bits represents the magnitude so here 9 can be represented as in the binary form 1001 here up to this one is the binary form this is the sign bit the remaining bits are filled with the zeros okay so this is the sign bit and the remaining 7 bits represents the magnitude okay in the sign magnitude form okay it contains two parts the first part is called as sign bit position so sign bit position always represented at the msb bit position the remaining bits represents the magnitude of that given number okay next one here minus 9 here the number is a negative number okay whenever the given number is a negative number we have to put the digit 1 at the msb position at the msb position followed by the normal binary number so 9 can be decimal 9 can be represented as so 1001 in the binary form here negative sign is there to represent that uh, negative number we have to put digit 1 at the msb position and the remaining bits are filled with zeros except 1001 and sign bit. Okay. Next one plus 41. Here it is a positive number. To represent the positive number, we have to put the digit 0 at the MSB position. The remaining bits represent the magnitude. So magnitude 41 can be represented in the binary form. 101001 okay here 6 bits represents the magnitude and 1 bit is a sign bit the remaining bit is filled with a zero okay the binary form can be starts with a lsb position okay next one minus 41 so minus 41 this is a negative number we have to put digit 1 at the msb bit position followed by the normal binary number here 41 can be written as 101001 in the binary form this is a 6 bit and 1 bit is a sign bit the remaining bit is filled with 0 okay the binary form of 41 can be written from lsb position okay 6 bits represents the magnitude and 1 bit represents the sign bit the remaining bit is filled with a zero because to represent this signed numbers we have to use 8 bit register okay so after representing the given number in the binary form if any vacant cell is there that vacant cell is filled with the zeros okay so this is the sign magnitude form okay Now, what are the advantages and disadvantage of sign magnitude representation? Advantages are it is very simple to understand. It is most fruitful representation. Okay. While coming to the disadvantages, whenever we have to perform addition and a subtraction operations we will consider both sign bits as well as their magnitudes okay so that means whenever we have to perform addition operation 
we will consider both sign bits as well as magnitudes of the number okay so this is one disadvantage the second disadvantage in sign magnitude representation is there are two representations for a single digit zero okay it is a positive zero or it is a negative zero but zero plus zero and minus zero which is not acceptable okay plus zero this value is zero minus zero this value is also zero okay so here in sign magnitude representation we have to represent zero in sign magnitude form we have to use two representations that is a plus zero and minus zero but plus zero or minus zero its magnitude is always zero but there are two representations in sign magnitude which is not acceptable okay so here in the case of plus zero we have to put zero at the msb position as a sign bit followed by the magnitude magnitude of this number in binary form okay whereas in the case of negative zero minus zero we have to put digit one at the msb position as a sign bit followed by the magnitude in binary form okay here zero is always zero to represent zero we have to use plus zero and minus zero okay there are two representations for a zero but so there is a, there is a no negative zero there is no positive zero okay zero is always a zero to represent that zero value we have to use two representations plus zero and minus zero which is not acceptable this is another disadvantage in sign magnitude form okay now going to second representation signed ones complement representation okay in order to represent the given signed number in terms of uh, signed ones complement representation by changing the magnitude of that number from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 there will be no change in the sign bit okay so this is the followed in sign ones complement representation okay so for example so now we have to represent decimal 9 and 10 in terms of signed ones complement representation by using 8 bit register so here plus 9 can be represented as 9 can be represented in binary form 1001 okay here positive sign is there we have to put a 0 at the msb position total 8 bit register how many number of bits are there up to now this is 4 and this is 1 5 bits the remaining 3 bits are filled with 0 okay so in this way we have to represent plus 9 in 8 bit register now plus 9 can be represented in once signed once complement representation there will be no change in the sign bit okay plus zero at the msp position sign bit is zero because the value of uh, the value is plus nine okay so there will be no change in sign bit so there will be no change in sign bit the remaining bits that means magnitude that magnitude can be changed from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 if it is 0 is there it can be replaced by 1 if it is 0 it can be replaced by 1 if it is 0 it can be replaced by 1 
Here the bit is 0, 1, it can be replaced by 0. Here the bit is 0, it can be replaced by 1. Here the bit is 0, it can be replaced by 1. Here the bit is 1, it can be replaced by 0. Okay, so this is a, a plus 9 can be represented in sign magnitude representation. Okay, so this sign magnitude representation can be converted into signed once complement representation. Okay, here we have to change, uh, we have to change two changes. Here, the first one is there is no change in sign bit. So here the sign bit is 0. Here also sign bit is 0. So the remaining bits in magnitude changes from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. If the bit is 0, it can be changed to 1. If the bit is 1, it can be changed to 0. Now the result is once complement representation of plus 9. Here this is the representation 0, uh, triple 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, in this way we have to represent the signed ones complement representation of plus 9. Okay, whereas minus 9 can be represented here the negative sign is the sign bit is 1. Okay, the remaining bits that represents magnitude is same. Triple 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, here plus 9, minus 9. Okay, here what is the difference? Only sign bit is different. The remaining magnitude is the same. Here plus 9, the sign bit is 0. Here minus 9, the sign bit is 1. But magnitude, there is no change in magnitude. Here 9 is there, here 9 is there. There is no change in magnitude. Only difference is in sign bit. Here plus 9, here we have to put digit 0 at MSB position as a sign bit. Here minus 9, here we have to put digit 1 at MSB position as a sign bit. Okay, now plus 10. Okay, plus 10 can be represented as, so here 1 0, 1 0 is the binary form of 10. Here plus sign is the the sign bit is 0. So total 5 bits are there. It is 8 bit register. The remaining 3 bits are filled with the zeros. Okay. So this is plus 10. Okay. Plus 10. Now, so this is sign magnitude representation. It can be converted into one's complement representation. Sign bit, there is no change in sign bit. The remaining bits in magnitude, so change 0 bit to 1 and 1 bit to 0. Here 3 zeros are there, 3 zeros can be converted into 3 ones and 1 can be converted into 0, 0 can be converted into 1, 1 can be converted into 0, 0 can be converted into 1. Okay, so this is the, this is the sign, sign the representation of plus 10. This is the once complement representation of plus 10. Here 0, triple 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so this is a plus 10 can be represented in once complement representation. Okay, minus 10 only sign is different but uh, magnitude is the same. So here plus 10, so sign bit is 0 at the MSB position. Here minus 10. So here sign bit is 1 at the MSB position. Here magnitude is the same. So the magnitude is triple 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, triple 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So this is the signed ones complement representation. Okay. The previous one is signed magnitude representation. The next one is signed ones complement representation. Now we go for signed tools complement representation.